more good. <laughs> what are your vampires? Is it what? I just have... A lot of my friends basically accuse me of being a vampire because my favourite favourite holiday is Halloween. It's quite I've bad. Jokes, the other issue is as well... Tim Millerini, how you doing? Well, good? Well, I have to tell you, I'm in a state of high excitement. <laughs> and therefore I've started following her on Twitter. She's my biggest fan now. And I that she is a part-time <sighs> vampire. Interesting than the rest of the news. No. This is a This Morning exclusive. Not actually. I agree. News. The ITV News. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Only part time. What, what, what is it? I, it's a joke. It's well, a joke, Josh. It was a joke. joke. I'm not. You, you come from Ireland, Brad, and I think to know the fantastic. Well, what thing. do you mean? It's a bit oh. of fun. That's what a modern vampire is. Yeah. It doesn't mean yeah. she goes. Roughly safe. I've got my factor fifty on. Um. <laughs> and yeah. I love Easter because I'm an Easter bunny at heart. <laughs> we should all. I think we've had the first story. Everyone's <laughs> like, oh, they're they're. Great. Of course, is you have a garden. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's interesting. We have seen the neighbour. Oh. Do you see what I did there? Right. Yeah, we can be quite funny when we want to be. A million people. Old leaky pipes and a lot of water, isn't it? When people are saying, I can't water my garden, but you need to fix your pipes. them seriously. Yeah. And you think, well, mm. it's only going to last a few weeks. Just. To eat, like, like the gardening centres, mindful about, about water, aren't they? Yeah. I was and... at a barbecue last mm. night, organised by my son in law. Brilliant. Come to our next door, like you say, on the weekend. Break. Quite a rough one. Mm. The water, just squeeze it. <laughs> and the... Do your back, don't you? Okay. Okay. Those right. sorts of things and possibilities are coming your way. Right, all right. But, um, no. Yeah, no, I think it's, yeah, Thames walking. In the woods today, <laughs> you're in the flower. Oh, I was expecting a teddy bear. Well, it is bear anyway. Oh, I think it's marvellous. Let's embrace. What's happening to us? And oh dear! Oh, <laughs> that's an airport, and it was so big. I think it was seventy firefighters were the disposable ones here, so people were just going into parks and whatever and starting them. And you can just imagine it just takes one. You know, we saw what happened; it would be a really good move to make because we're having to work pretty hard at their bills until the energy companies bring down the prices and make them more affordable. The risk, though, is of getting cut off. So. Do you want to face a winter when you don't have any electricity or gas somewhere, in a church, for example, and be warm? And really, we're one of the richest countries in the world. We, we really shouldn't be expecting people to do this. You've got to be put on to... You know, obviously, we are looking at... Well, we're living in a cost-of-living crisis, right? Yeah, so maybe he'll get on this. Very well. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Ordering, you know, a, a, a smoothie yeah. uh, to be delivered by... Deli yeah. Uh, and also, when charities come, mm. you have to... problem, isn't it? I think people are struggling and, you know, maybe the last thing they need is someone knocking on the door I saying, know. have you got a fiver every month that you can contribute? done for years last Friday evening. I happened to be passing a house that I knew and that I last went to... I knew the people who lived there 50 years ago. Oh, oh, I see. Love it. Do you pop in? No, I know. Like I said, don't talk to me in the street. That's just, no. <laughs> she doesn't have a landline. It's becoming so popular, there's now naked. You're never going naked anywhere um, anytime soon. No. <laughs> Get in touch to share their stories of...